When the Wildcats come to play in Sparky's backyard, you know the claws will come out. But if you think the hits on the field are bad, the rivalry brewing in the parking lot, it's downright brutal. My loyalty clearly conflicted. The only thing that can be heard above the cheers and chants is the sound of Kelly James jamming at the ASU tailgate party. Luckily, tonight's headliner has a wit as sharp as a pitchfork. He's going to need it to cut through the tension in this crowd. James is a singing, songwriting, rhyme spinning, guitar playing phenom from California. He's performed with artists like OAR, Lil Wayne, LMFAO, and Sarah Bareilles, to name drop just a few. But unlike most singers, he improvs his lyrics on the fly with the help of his audience. So you're meeting my new co-host here, Kelly James, who's uh, rocking the stage for us tonight here. ASU U of A duel in the desert. Yeah. We're talking a little football, a little music. But you know what I want to talk about first? I want to talk about your shoes. Shoes. Let's talk about shoes. What about your shoes? I wanted to ask you what you think of my shoes because I know that shoes are important to you. They are important and uh, I like your shoes. Okay. I know like the little, like the, the short little cut just covering the toes thing's cool. I appreciate it. Okay. Classy yet hip. Classy yet hip. You're in a journalistic role. All right. I appreciate yeah. that. So the story behind this pretty much is when I was a kid, I wasn't allowed to have like any kind of expensive shoes. It was like the cheapest shoes. I always wanted pumps. Like that's all I wanted. Yes. Never got pumps. And they re-released pumps like maybe four years ago, something like that. And you know, I played a couple show shows, maybe had five bucks in my pocket. And I walked into a shoe store and I bought all the colors. So I think I have four or five different colors and I had to have all the pumps. I'm an eight and a half. I like that. Women's eight and a half. Eight and a half. <laughs> that's a big shoe. I'm, I'm a tall girl, you know what they say. What do you Big shoes, say? big brain, buddy. Tell me a little bit about your, your upbringing. Northern California boy. Yeah. So I grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area. Was a huge sports fan. Played sports all growing up. All my best friends, we all played sports. What'd you play? Played basketball, football, soccer, baseball when I was a kid. Um, but I, I never really like, my friends never played music. So guitar to me was always like this kind of side thing that I did. It's just like a little passion. And um, it was never really until college when I put out this album just for fun. That, uh, that I thought, man, maybe I could do something with it. It was and, always a dream, but it was never like a reality. And your degree in college has nothing to do with what you're doing right now. Zero, zero. Except for managing yourself. A little bit. Okay. Yeah, underwater basket weaving Under was a major. And, uh, <laughs> underwater? <laughs> but no, I, I, did, I did major in business. And business. Uh, with the emphasis in the music industry, I always knew I wanted to do it, and I knew I had to try it and give it a shot. My advice to anyone who just wanted to play shows or who was doing it would be, you gotta just go and do it on your own. You gotta build something on your own, which is the hardest thing to do. If you weren't, you know, uh, a musician, would you? What would you be doing right now? Man, maybe flying one of those fighter pilots that's gonna fighter planes that's gonna mess up the sound of this interview right now. <laughs> who did you listen to growing up, and who is on your iPod right now? Um, did you have an iPod? For me, it was uh, the biggest bands were grunge bands. Like that was the music that I found on my own. It was Nirvana, Soundgarden, Stone Temple Pilots, Pearl Jam. Anyone who you'd really be like, they called you up and they're like, Kelly, Kelly, I, I want you to open for us, or I want you to headline, or whatever. Who would it be? Yeah. What would? 
I mean, I'd say anybody that plays guitar would probably have to go with Dave Matthews just because it's Dave Matthews. Um, if a rapper, I mean, if like if you got to call him like a Kanye or a Jay Z, and yeah. you work in the rap world, and for whatever reason they like were like, hey, I like how you play acoustic guitar or whatever, it's like that would be the best for me because it would be the cross genre thing. So all the ladies out there want me to ask you, if you have a girlfriend? I do. You do. I have a fiance. Congratulations! Thank you. I just got engaged in June. Okay. It is so crazy. I, I ask people all the time for like random words. Right. Like just a random word. And when you put them under pressure, people are like, uh, uh, it could be anything. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna go with frog. 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 It's called frogs and shoes. Okay. And I apologize if it's terrible. <laughs> I was like, you know. It'll be entertaining, I'm sure. So. So we're sitting in the studio at ASU, yo, we got the senior in the building. She's like, fight on, yo, or whatever your signal is or your chant, I don't know. But the U of A kids come up and they throw down. In this town, they like to get crazy. We straight up on these straight half lazy boys or whatever these chairs are, I don't know. But they feel kind of good. I got a good a couple, so I can chill in my house. Yeah, you see, so I can DVR me some modern family. Now, this is how we do. This is a freestyle flow. I got to give a shout out to my dude, Pablo. Hey man, we're going to find some drinks now. Okay, you guys have some drinks for me? Oh, I remember you! <laughs> Pablo, you find me a hot dog. Pablo, find me a beer. Ay, 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 let's just go 